All right, we're working with vectors today, and so we want to go ahead and look at this uh, first example. So write the vector has initial point, negative 2, 3, terminal point, so starting, ending, right, at 1, negative 4, in this form. So remember, i and j are just in terms of unit vectors, magnitudes of 1. So let's just plot these. I put a little coordinate plane here so we can visualize it. So negative 2, 3. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So we'd be right up here. And 1, negative 4. So over 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. So over here. So it starts up here and it goes this way. So that means, now I'm not going to connect these with a super straight line. So use your imagination. Okay, I'll just freehand here, do the best I can on my sketch pad. But we start here. I mean going down there so it's pointed in the down direction so what does this mean okay here's one way we could look at it let's just turn it into a triangle and this I know this is a pretty simple example but this is going to help us in the future here so here's my X component right here's my Y component or this is my I and this is my J so what is this doing in the i direction? Well, it went 1, 2, 3. So my vector, I'm going to do the arrow above it because you can't see that it's bold when I write it, is 3i, again, from 1, or sorry, from negative 2 to 1, that's 3, right? 1, 2, 3. And from 3 to negative 4, of course, you can count them. It went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 downward. So it's going to be minus 7j. And that is the uh, representation of this vector in the i plus j form. Now you could also write this vector like this 3, negative 7 with these kind of triangular brackets there. These mean, these mean the exact same thing, okay? So just look where you started, it can help to sketch it, but really, we just did final 1 minus initial, negative 4 minus 3. So there's different ways you can look at those, not too bad to represent those.